We know that it can be very difficult to find help when you're really frustrated with your computer. Yes, computers can be frustrating for even the brightest of us when you just can't figure out why it won't cook your bagel properly or why it doesn't take the dog for a walk or... Wait, no, wrong. Still, computers can be very frustrating. Uh, so, where do you turn when you need help? Well, this video is just going to give you four suggestions on how to do that well. The first one, the unfortunately infamous help menu. The help menu is always located at the top of your screen in the menu bar. Almost every program comes with the help menu. Click on it once and you can type in a search term or browse through any features that might be down below. The keyboard shortcut for help is command shift question mark and it'll open it right up. So you could type in any particular keyword that you're looking about, like finder. What is this finder thing all about anyway? And it will give, show you some menu items and where you can find certain commands as well as some help topics which you can open up and browse through and it will describe exactly the things that we go through in other videos for example what's the menu bar what's the dock what's the desktop etc there are also related topics down at the bottom you can click on the home button to go back to the beginning and kind of browse through all these different topics now I know the help menus have this reputation of being unhelpful but uh, I think in Snow Leopard they have some pretty good help menus as always the trick is knowing which keywords you need to use and search for so try and be smart about what keywords you're, you use to, to do your search topics and the help menu can actually be very helpful you can type in a few words into this help finder and uh, or in the help menu and it'll, uh, it'll usually bring up some decent results a second place to go is Apple's website Apple.com slash find out how is a great website that has around 200 video tutorials on anything ranging from making slideshows to movies to documents to throwing things away in the trash to using time machine all kinds of stuff they're all short they're free they're pretty easy to follow and they should get you headed in the right direction so those can be really useful third suggestion is Google who doesn't use Google even the smartest people in the world go to Google to find out answers to stuff. So again, similar to the help menu, try and uh, be smart about which keywords you use when you do your Google search. Specify Macintosh or Snow Leopard or 10.6 or something and then uh, a few keywords. Try and go more, try and be specific with the keywords but use as few keywords as possible to keep your search fairly open and then as you browse through your search results on Google uh, change what you search for as, as you learn more so all of us learn things off of Google it's a great place to find answers to how to do certain things on your computer lastly uh, this video would be worthless if it weren't for a shameless plug uh, you can contact us at Interlaced Inc uh, our website is interlacedinc.com uh, and we would be happy to help you find answers or fix problems or teach you how to use something um, any way we could be of help to you so those are my top four suggestions for getting help on your Mac when you get stuck. I uh, hope it helps.